video game characters age. Now, this is something I've been thinking about a whole bunch, just for the sheer fact that there's a ton of games out there with franchises that pretty much have been standing the test of time, and we're getting sequel after sequel after sequel. But the thing is, with a reoccurring storyline that you know keeps on progressing, we also have characters that are eventually, you know, they're becoming icons, but they're getting older and older to the point that they're going to have to be replaced because eventually we're going to be controlling them with a walker and they're going to be having to stop every couple of minutes and you go into a mini game where you have to go and figure out, what pills do I take today? I can't figure it out. Fucking Alzheimer's. Press X a whole bunch to get over Alzheimer's. Shit, you didn't. You forgot everything. Crap your pants. Well, I don't really want to deal with anything like that. So I'd rather the characters just not age. But the thing is, a lot of people have talked about this. And look at something like this. Okay, Soul Calibur V came out recently. And a lot of the characters in that, again, a long-running series. It goes all the way back to PS1 whenever it was Soul Blade. But yes, in Soul Calibur, a bunch of the characters are, like, getting really, really old, with the exception of characters like Ivy, who we already know why they're not going to make Ivy really old, because, I mean, with fun bags as big as hers, they're pretty much going to be around her ankles, and she isn't going to need her little sword whip anymore. All she's going to have to do is just spin in place, and she's pretty much just a big flapjack titty tornado of death. Nobody wants to see that, Ivy. We don't need that at all, especially since you're wearing essentially what is, I don't know, looks a lot like dental floss and uh, sparkles. That's really about it. So, yeah, that's her outfit. Oh, and boots. Can't ever forget boots. That's about it. And no, not boots from Doherty Explorer. But the thing is, you know, beyond Soul Calibur, look at something like Metal Gear Solid. Snake got old. Now, granted, that was kind of built into the story with, like, Fox Die and all the other shit. But the thing is, I didn't want Snake to get old. Snake's not supposed to be old. He's supposed to be badass and walk around and, and sneak about in a box and it's real cool and I don't know if I really sound like him, not really. Well, at least I fucking tried. <laughs> but <laughs> I just keep thinking about Otacon screaming snake. Snake! Snake! And he's just like, <coughs> Otacon, I'm still here. And like, oh, snake! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just overreacted for nothing. But... <laughs> You know, a character like Snake. Solid Snake is a premier gaming legend. Everybody knows of him. But he got old. Do we really want him to get old and just go away? No, we don't want that to happen. Look at the Resident Evil games, for instance. Okay, it started off, Resident Evil was in 1998. And then you fast forward, now all the characters are like... <laughs> later 30s, 40s, some shit like that. And it's like, eventually you're going to go and make Resident Evil 7... And all the characters are literally just going to have, like, carpal tunnel and not be able to fucking pull the triggers and shit. And just be like, I can't really do this anymore. <laughs> Can you pass me my dentures? Go into the item screen and go and put the dentures together. Oh, wait, go and turn the item. Look, look inside. It's part of a puzzle. Well, now you have to go through the entire fucking game and try to figure out where did these dentures go besides in my mouth. But yes, I don't like the idea of video game characters getting old and eventually dying because they're fictional characters. Think about if we apply that to all sorts of other things, like in comic books. Batman would be like a billion years old. <laughs> like, he would literally just be a dead corpse <laughs> flying around Gotham City. I don't know who's making him fly around, but they just put the Batman costume on him and he's just, just like... <laughs> just going all over the place. And it, to me, that's just ridiculous to think about, but if they made him age like they are in video games, that's what would happen. I don't like that idea at all. Sure, if you do, like, little stories, like, you know, Dark Knight Returns and things like that, well, yeah, no shit, that's going to happen because that's specifically how that story was designed. But as a whole, the character doesn't age because he's a fictional character, okay? As writers and developers and people that control these things, okay, as creators in general, you have complete control over this character's world and where they go and what they do, and especially their age. I don't think that they should age. You know, Super Mario would not be jumping and busting blocks with his fists. No, he would be retired and not doing shit. Same thing with Luigi in Princess. Yeah, she wouldn't be needing saved anymore because Bowser would probably be dead from old age. I don't know how long those, like, lizard, dragon, whatever the fuck he's... Okay, he's a Koopa, but I mean, I don't know how long they live for, but I'm sure that his age, he'd probably be dead by now. 
But let's just think about that and just apply the whole aging thing to a bunch of other game characters. It would be awful. You know, a character like Samus, Samus has been around forever. Samus would also be really old. Remember the thing I was talking about with Ivy and her tits being down to her ankles there? We could say the same thing with her. It's like, why is Samus really wearing that suit? To keep everything together. It's like a push-up bra for the entire body. But she really wouldn't be moving around. Somebody else would have to control it. Like, come on, Samus, let's go on an adventure. And she's just like, hey this. This fucking sucks. <laughs> but it's just, I think about that, I'm just like, damn, I don't want these characters to age and then die, and then they're gonna have to be replaced, and the thing is, whenever you're building a franchise, and a franchise is going for a really long time, and people actually get attached to these characters, really like them, want to go on more adventures, see more story with them, and those characters are just gonna be written off because they age, that's asinine, and then you're going to have to go and forcefully replace them with other characters, and the people that like that franchise, like that game a whole bunch, are going to kind of feel betrayed, and pissed off, and annoyed, and irritated, and they might just leave that franchise, move on until you decide to go and put things right back in order, back the way that things should have been. Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting to go and experiment and bring in new characters and basically evolve a franchise, but you shouldn't just go and kill off characters. You really shouldn't. I mean, it pisses people off in books whenever a character gets, you know, pretty much the axe and they're gone altogether for next to no reason other than to just, you know, do it. But the thing is, with this, yes, they have complete creative control over these characters and their futures. So why write them off if they're successful mascots? It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. I want to go and become an old man with my children and my grandchildren and everything, and they get to still enjoy those same characters that I grew up enjoying a whole bunch. That's what I want to see happen. I really do. So I wonder... Despite the fact that I don't like the idea of a lot of characters in video games aging, how do you feel about this concept right here? I named a couple examples, there are plenty of other examples out there, but the thing is, in general, think of your favorite franchises, think of your favorite video game characters. Now think, would you like them to age during every single iteration of that specific game series and eventually just get written off or pass away or whatever the case is? Would you like that? Would you, would you be okay with it? Would you care? Comment down below in the comment box, or you can make a video response if you want to talk about this in greater detail. And my shorts are jingling. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sid, as always. Nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on. Man. I'm Cloud Strife. You oh, got my buster shit. Fuck. Damn it. Limit break. Here we go. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, shit. Stay still. Oh, fuck. No. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just run into my sword. No. No, so heavy. Why is it so... Damn it, no! Run into my suit, come on. Just help an old ex-soldier. I can't hold this. Is this getting heavier? My... Oh, that's my arm. Help. Um, Diva? Sid? Oh, I'm still in a nursing home. And I just attacked my bedpan. No. <laughs> Shit. Broken arm and no deadpan. <laughs> deadpan? Bedpan, not deadpan. <laughs> Damn it. Alzheimer's, broken arm. <laughs> I hate aging in games. <laughs> and that's how I feel about it. <laughs> So it would be funny.